I just write, write, write. Just get over it and just keep going no matter what the idea was. Um, you can't you can't just stop just because you know you feel insecure about whatever you're writing. So I just push through it. Discovery Green, and I swear I discovered my love for music here. Um, I was 10 years old. My mom would bring me out to this place a lot. And one time she brought me out here and they were giving away radios at a festival. They messed up because I was only 10 years old. My mom only let me listen to Christian music and it was all pretty boring. And they just gave me a radio. I started messing with the stations. I started like listening to new stuff. Linkin Park was going hard. Lil John was going hard. Usher was big then, and then it was 2003. And my mind just went like, "Wow, that's a lot of that's a lot of different things that I'd never heard before." And I I don't think I even slept that night. I just took that little pocket radio with some headphones and listened for for days on end, and just expanded my mind. Um, and discover that I really have a passion for, for music and, and different sounds and how to how to really incorporate them into my own self. So man, this this is this is right where it started, right here. Cause I'd have fucked with your cousins Girls say my next six go missing Hey, Charlie, you ain't no different These days it's hard to me when Feel like my love life is finished I've been avoiding coming Man, so touch theater under the stars. This is a. Uh, this is also where it started. This is where I actually started performing. Um, my mom worked here, and she needed somebody to watch me while she's busy. So what I would do is I just, you know, I jump in on little plays. I dance with them, sing with them, learn my lines. My sister would do that too, and um, we just honed our skills here. My sister really ran with it and really did musicals a lot. But you know, I just I kind of took what I learned from here and I applied it to other aspects of music. Um, and you can tell when you hear my hear my music that I, I learned a lot from Broadway. So this is where it started. I would compare myself most to Jimi Hendrix. That's who I that's who I pay most attention to when I'm, you know, stacking myself up and uh, um, trying to see where I'm at in life and where I am as an artist. You know, I compare myself to him the most. <laughs> My lovely abode, my kingdom, I got my main guitar, second guitar, uh, amps, pedals, keyboard, and my nice little setup over here. All set up for me to record my own music by myself. I can do everything but drums. I got a musical drum machine for that. But um, this is it, you know, this is where I've been writing all the time. Um, I'm always writing, always exploring, doing tutorials, go to YouTube University, mastered in Google, you know what I'm saying? Um, this is, you know, this is where the match is happening. This is the first few songs you'll ever hear coming right from my closet. Yeah, so learning guitar, um, it was challenging. I'd say the hardest part was like the finger stuff, man. That stuff hurt. And I remember I would play until my fingers bled. 
and it wouldn't bleed like a lot, but it was just like you just you could tell I've been playing a lot and it hurt a lot. But um, over time you get used to it. Now I got like these little stubs. I think I put a, a match under them once and just didn't feel anything. But hey, man, it's all it's all for the music, and um, it definitely paid off because guitars one of my favorite instruments to play. So I really like to connect to people and I don't like really doing it verbally. It's not that I'm shy, but I really like to like see how people are feeling when I'm playing and singing to them. And the fact that I can control their mood and their environment, their vibe, I really love that. So I live for it really. Why do you want to talk down on me? Gotta take a trip to Alcohol.